probably over GVM already. <laughs> Back to blowholes. Hey. Back to blowholes. Back to blowholes. And time to do some work today. You mean skiving off? No. <laughs> We have we have a reoccurring theme. <laughs> Bit of an issue. How many this was? Four times? No, it's nearly every time that I do this. Tanya gets in to sort out the caravan on the inside. Because we've just arrived in a new location. And I set up the outside. But she Which leaves her jandies on the on the sand. Next to the step. And so every time I put the mat straight. straight How do you the not top. see my jandals <laughs> sitting on the ground? The fact that you just cover over them is <laughs> concerning. So it's, it's pretty funny though. <laughs> <laughs> just arrived at Blue Holes. Yeah. Blue. And Chris said to the universe that we weren't going to get a spot. And oh. What do you know? We and have we, a spot. We and even got ocean views. Not only do we have a spot. Oh, you can't see it. We need to walk up the hill a bit. From in the caravan, you can see that. But we've also got internet. Tanya's favourite thing. Chris is upset because it means he has to work. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't be upset because it means you don't have to find any. Well, you know, make money and then I can spend it. So we've never been here before, so we're just going to have a look around. It's pretty busy, so... Go and pay our money. Hopefully it's good. Yeah, when we came in there was heaps of vans. Chris has got like a whole swarm Tony's of flies. Tony's fascinated with the flies. They're gross. I spent 11 years up north working in the mines Look and, what, them all. and whatnot, so I'm sort of used to it, but Tom's is fascinated. I'm not fascinated, I'm grossed. Yeah. It's disgusting. It's you like imagine having... if it's middle of summer and you've got a dirty, sweaty shirt, you imagine how many's on there. But it's like people don't care about flies. It's like maggots. They used to be maggots. It's like maggots all over your shoulder. You wouldn't just sit there and let no, them... No, they're not maggots. They used to be maggots. That is the same thing. You used to be a stupid little tadpole. <laughs> hey, stupid! <laughs> you mean a smart little But tadpole. we still love you. <laughs> <laughs> Normally they got like a... Um, We're trying to figure out where to pay. It's not super obvious. We know it costs money, we just don't know who to give our money to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this. This is cool. This is cool. Oh, there's people swimming, they're keen. It's not that warm. You'll find the water's quite warm. Oh, look how clear it is. Finally get to use our snorks. What are those things? <laughs> the critters out there. What's this called? The lagoon? Ah, uh, the oh. aquarium. Aquarium. Aquarium, apparently. And tomorrow's meant to be the nicest day, so... It's always going to be windy. The wind's never going to go away, but... Snorkels, get ready. Body, get ready for some cold water. The water's actually quite warm. Mm-hmm. But it's definitely a brisk breeze. 
Well, generally your feet aren't meant to touch the ground when you're snorkeling. Gotta yeah, watch out for the stonefish. Eh? Stonefish. So now, snakes, sharks, now we've got stonefish. <laughs> there was another there. one I said the other day and I just can't for the life of me remember. It's Australia, everything bites you. Apparently everything bites you. <laughs> No, I am careful to look no, out for it. You're going to be the one that gets yeah. dealt to. Yeah, that'll be about right. Not too shabby. This is our little private beach. Here's the pod right there. Hello pod. We just walked through the snake track. And we have our little beach inlet. Holy hell, it's steep. Is it? <laughs> oh, it's such a pretty color. I've never sun. seen a beach that steep before. Oh wow, <laughs> literally jump off the cliff. I wonder where the tide comes up, that's pretty... Yeah. It must come up, I mean this sand's all wet. Wow. But look, you can see where the opening to that aquarium thing is there. It would get deep fast if the water was right up there. Oh look at that beautiful view of the pod. Does it get any better? <laughs> <laughs> I thought we had a good spot before. Check this out. Make it through the snake track or what? We made it. No snakes. <laughs> you got all the flies off you? No, I can see them. They're everywhere. Don't you go inside like that. There's only a couple. Give, give us something to do. Chase them around the van. <laughs> Still on you. Yeah, wait, I'll help. No. Babe, no flies on you. <laughs> My God! <laughs> Here at the post post shop in Carnarvon, collect some parcels. We'll go and see what it is. We got presents. <laughs> <laughs> So what's in your, what's in your box? <laughs> what's in your box? <laughs> <laughs> I bought a water bladder so we can pick up more water when we're... Less trips to town. At um, free from services <laughs> camping. Because at the moment I've only got drums so I can only take 60 litres. It doesn't last us very long. Hopefully we can get some more.
We're going to test it out today. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> How exciting. I hope you ordered the right thing. The small things, I tell you. <laughs> yeah, we've just got to open this, figure out what fittings are on it. It says do not open with knife, so. You're going to use a key instead. Use a key instead. <laughs> I guess putting a knife through a water bladder is probably not the smartest move. Probably wouldn't. Just to figure out how we're going to fill this thing up without soaking the back seat. <laughs> well, look at that, they gave us, gave us some thread tape. A little piece of hose. Oh, oh it's blue. I thought it was green. Matches the... Did you try and order a green one? Well, it was green on eBay. Matches the truck stickers. But they did say they'll run out of um, some of the material and it might come as different material. What do we got here? Look at that. Look at all that space. Some more gas. A few oh. bits and pieces for my water bladder. Let's see how we go. Is it heavy? It is heavy now. <laughs> you look like you're struggling. <laughs> Way lighter when it's empty. Pulling up to the water. It's the first time there's only ever been one person there. This water fill point. <laughs> Every time we've come here. Except like today. Third or fourth, sometimes fifth in line. And, and there'll be vans like spewing out onto the road waiting for water. I don't know if it's the only one or if it's just the best one. But here we, we were are. here for over an hour last time. Yeah. This oh, is, you get to play with your new toy. This is the best so far. Right, what are you going to go over together? Well, they're giving me all these fittings, but... No real way of putting it together. I thought it was designed for this purpose. Huh? Well, it was, but not on the back seat of a car. Where's it meant to go on the roof? Well, normally people would have a ute, wouldn't they? Subtle gab there. Hmm? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Little mess. I don't want to drive a ute because it's not a, it feels like a truck. But then continues to call the car a truck. It's a truck. Four by four truck. It's because when we lived in the house, we had a car and a truck. This is the truck. The Holden was the car. Hence the truck. We never had a truck. We've only ever had two cars. N no. <laughs> I disagree. Even though you could have bought the ute version of this and wouldn't have known the difference. No. Unless you looked in the rear vision mirror. Exactly. It has an ugly tray. <laughs> Where you could have put all the things. <laughs> well, when we bought this car, it was for the dog and he didn't want to be outside in the rain maybe 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 he should have gone outside or in the sun mounting yeah the sun would have been a bit hot get on there i know it's gonna get all muddy On there. Open that. Prepared for prepare for prepare, disaster. Prepare for an explosion. If that pops off and goes flying all over. Oh, we have lift off. We've got action. What's that do? I'll let the air out. Well, we'll let the air out later.
How do you know when it's full? Uh, it'll be like a balloon. It'll, I'll point this over here <laughs> and turn that on and then I'll know when it's full. Into my seat. Into your seat. <laughs> no, you won't. It's getting fed. Hopefully it doesn't roll off. Oh, don't hit the brakes hard. Yeah. 100 kgs of water coming <laughs> at, at us. A little concoction there. Just a three-way, two-way valve out the garden. Let the air out. Hmm. Have we turned it on yet? Yep. Is it working? I don't know. It's on the roof. Yeah. I feel like the process is probably going to require some uh, refining. <laughs> How do you know when it's full? Well, I'm hoping water will come out of that pipe. Before it bursts. Before it bursts. It's like a little balloon, a massive balloon. No, it's pretty full now. Inside our car. Trucks. Oh. <gasps> Just like that. <laughs> Explosion. I closed this tap and the hose popped out of this fitting. And water flew everywhere. Lucky. All the way into the front of the car. <laughs> Lucky it's only water. Car needs to clean anyway. On the outside. <laughs> so, wrap up on the water. What is it, bladder? I'd call that a fail, to be honest. If we, were at, if we were at school, that'd be a 35 out of 100. The back of the car is so weird. We're going to have to like open all the doors when we get back to camp, too. And it's not very sunny to dry it out. And I've lost my clip from my flash as mirror that I got here. <laughs> But we have a swimming pool of water behind us. So, what, that should get us a week? We should have a week out Four, of that, maybe. Five days, maybe. Depends how many showers and how clean Depends humans how we are. Wash, <laughs> how much washing we do. <laughs> we want clean underwear or not. <laughs> I think that's a basic human requirement. <laughs> now, to so see if you can put it into the caravan. Yeah, that'll be the next task. Without getting the car even wetter. Can't guarantee that. <laughs> Luckily, it's only water and it'll dry out. Mm. So far, it's just working like that. Just draining straight out. So I feel like once the gravity component disappears, I'll probably have to put my little pump in there. I'm going to apologise in advance for the poor quality of video footage, but Chris and I have just woken up. It is, what, 3 something a.m., a time that you're not meant to be awake, and we've been hearing what we think is little mice in the caravan, so the hunt is now on. A, fortunately, what I can see is a pipe right there. I assume it's just for ventilation, like gas ventilation, but um. Don't know, it goes out down into the wheel well. What's all the sawdust? Oh, it's just lazy tradesmen. No, the winds are special. Um, I can't see anything that he's been. Which pipe is it? This one here. Oh. I can't see anything that he's been chewing on. It looks to me like. He's come up the pipe, and it's a direct run. There's no other place he can be, so. And Chris just went outside, and what did you say? It's near the wheel arch. Yeah, I put the torch down the pipe, because it's night time. I put the torch down the pipe and found where the light came out. And it's up in the wheel arch. Oh, you think you went outside? Just the only way it goes, is oh. outside. So we can plug something in there? Yeah, so I'll put something in from the outside. And we're good. Oh, yeah. van smells like fly spray. Ooh. Leave the screws off and yeah, just. Oh. Yeah. 
go back to bed now. Go back to bed. <laughs> Wowzers. Don't wake you up. Definitely wake us up before the sun. He was making such a racket in there. I didn't know what he was chewing on. But it doesn't look like he's chewing on anything. I know they grind their teeth when they're when they're relaxing. And when I shine the torch in the vent under the oven, he was just chilling back there, cleaning himself. You could see him through here, eh? Those yeah. little vents there. Oh yeah. I could see him all the way at the back, just sitting back there cleaning his face, just having a right old time. Oh. We like animals, but we don't like mice in our house. Bastard. <laughs> Oh, we've never seen like any evidence in the van, so I feel like it might be a. And this is the first time I've been woken up by a noise first like that. Occurrence. Yeah. Because the problem is the fridge makes all kinds of noises when it turns on, expansion and carrying on, cracking and popping when it's cold, but like when it's cold outside. Which it is. Which it is right now. Fucking freezing out there. <laughs> Anyway, fingers crossed. Yeah. Okay, so Chris and I went to Mitre 10 today and we have come up with some toaster mesh and some glue. And that is what we're going to use to try and keep the mice from coming in. In the corner. Oh. You work? No. I don't know if it'll stay with you. I can't believe the mice got up there. What did he jump off the top of the tire? No, he would have run along the top of this. Um, oh, is there a lip in there? Coming in here. And then just what? Barrel crawled his way up. What are you doing now? Holding the glue. Holding it. Why? <laughs> so it dries. How long does it take? Shall they come back? Will it be night time? 24 hours. <laughs> 24 hours? <laughs> um, no, it's just liquid nails that we tackle. I don't know if it'll hold it, but the shit normally sticks to everything, so. It sticks to the things you don't want it to stick to. Alright, well, hopefully a bit of toast, toasted mesh. <laughs> <laughs> Worst case, it smells like liquid nails and mouse won't come anywhere near it. True. Well, you stunk them out with fly spray last night. I don't know if fly spray works for mice. <laughs> well, they use their nose to get around, they won't like the smell of that. So. so, the bit you've been waiting for is the announcement of our O Light winner, uh, Headlamp, and we are really excited to announce that. Uh, Rob Buick is our winner. You're our winner, mate. So thanks very much for commenting and watching our videos. So if you can just send us an email, hello at lentabitwiser.com.au and we will sort out getting that headlamp out to you. So if you weren't one of our lucky winners, uh, remember we do have a discount code for Olight. You get 10% off, so LBW10, uh, have a look in there and see if there's anything that takes your fancy. So that's it for this week. Uh, thanks heaps for watching. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe, share it with your friends, hit the bell notification, all those good things. And if you're hanging around, make sure you check out one of our next two videos that come up for you. Cheers, guys. See ya.